And now at 11, a South Florida doctor out of his home and under arrest. He's accused of pushing pills illegally to dozens of patients. Investigators say he pocketed more than a million dollars. Tonight, that alleged pill mill is closed. The doctor and two of his associates are in jail. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in West Miami-Dade, where they're being held tonight. Hank. Well, that doctor brought down after a lengthy investigation. As you said, he is in jail tonight, booked earlier this afternoon. Let's take a look. This is Dr. Armando Falcone in the custody of a Miami-Dade police officer. Dr. Falcone had been detained in his home since early morning when state and federal officers swept in, culminating a lengthy investigation. The core of this story is the doctors accused of writing a massive amount of prescriptions for painkillers. Dr. Falcone, according to Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, visited briefly with patients, wrote the prescriptions, took cash as payment. Dr. Falcone operated the pain center of Cutler Bay. Also taken down today, two of the office managers at the pain center, Cutler Bay, they're accused of preparing the drug prescriptions in advance of the patient's visit. One of those arrested, Claudia Centano. The two managers and the doctor face charges of racketeering, trafficking, and money laundering. According to state investigators, Dr. Falcone took in more than a million dollars a year operating the pain clinic. Two high-end vehicles were towed from his home, a Maserati and a Cadillac Escalade. The doctors, neighbors, well, they're reacting. Nothing surprises me in Miami. Oh, boy. He's in trouble. <laughs> Prosecutors charge that the doctors spent heavy on cars, boats, homes, and beach apartments. Well, it's unclear whether the doctor will be in Boncourt tomorrow morning or will he bail out later tonight. Remember, he was made a million dollars on the side writing those phony prescriptions. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.